job working with the Audubon is to teach people about nature and, and answer questions like yours and to learn about the birds and the animals that live around us here on the North Fork. So we hope that maybe today we'll see some birds on the way down to the beach or maybe some other animals. So, volunteers. So I'm going to introduce you to Bree now from Upscalp. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for the wonderful introduction. I am so happy to see everybody here today. I notice a lot of familiar faces from last summer's Upsculpting workshops. So I just want to introduce why I am here and my other lovely assistant. Her name is also Bree. So everyone say hello to Bree and Hi. Bree. Hi, Bree. I'm here on behalf of Upsculpt, and we are a local art organization and we make sculptural artwork with 100% marine plastic debris. So we act as an educational, science, and art-based organization. We use our beautiful art constructed with materials that we pick up off of our local and global shorelines. And this art that we create becomes a very strong educational tool. So as part of our awesome beach cleanup today, we are going to be taking some of the clean and workable materials that we collect and incorporating it into workshops on the next two Wednesdays. Upsculpt is going to be returning to your classroom and we are going to be creating <coughs> reefs. So each and every one of you are going to be learning how we upsculpt with the marine plastics that we will all work to gather today in a safe manner. And we will make mini wreaths over the next two weeks to be able to show at an upcoming art show. So to learn a little bit more about what we do, I have a fun video prepared. It's always fun to watch video and listen to a little bit less talking. So if anyone, everybody wants to watch the screen for the next five minutes or so, you can enjoy some of the artwork and learn a little bit more about our mission. Thank you. It's a little bit dark, so everyone keep nice and quiet for the video. It is a Nike shoe. Yeah. Maybe with the um, remote now. Oh. That's okay. Give us just one second. Let's see if we can get this Mama Shug. She is a 14 foot 
that the Cape Cod National Seashore, everything that she's made out, 100% was picked up off the beach, came in from the oceans. Here we have Marina Pulse Street. Marina Pulse Street is another big thing I find all the time on the beach. And these will also be really good for the sculpture because they are designed to be outside on a boat for many, many years and not degrade. So I will be able to use this for the sculpture. We find a lot of this. So here's the here's the bait bags, and you would but you won't even know it. The other side of the boat cushion, this is insulation here. This is a this is siding, you know, the plastic siding on houses right here. Of course this is what we can use. Uh, right, that's exactly right, a chair. Here's another little straw story down here. I like it too, it's so pretty. Right? All of that, this is it. Oh yeah. We can all look for ways that we can individually help. It takes a village. I had people helping me all along the way. People who volunteer in the studio, they do beach cleanups, they bring me things. In working with Ocean Plastics, I realized that I wanted to get children involved so that they understood what was going on. I am hoping that while I speak to all of these kids here in China, that um, some of them will come up with some really great ideas. And they'll get out there and take some of that plastic off the beach and start making some really wonderful stuff out of it. It really all stems from an extraordinary love of the natural world. And we as artists have to all individually do what makes best for us to do. It's a natural organic thing. My artwork comes from my heart, and I do it to address this issue the only way I know how. It's okay to pick up after other people, folks. Hey, thank you for your patience, everybody. One last thing I will say before we head to the beach and do a little bit of that good fun beach cleanup action that you just saw is that you all just saw the words and artwork of our founding artist Cindy Pizro. She's actually a lifelong North Fork artist. She has lived and worked in your guys' hometown throughout the life of her career and Upsculpt was founded locally by picking up the plastic that we all live with on our beaches. And you just saw a little bit of the great things we can do when we all put our mind together and find creative solutions to not so nice problems such as beach plastic pollution. Go for it. Go for it. Let's see. Let's get everything we collected in one spot. We can take a picture when we're done. Good job, guys. See, the feathers can stay as part of nature. Good job. Nice. We picked up some good stuff that otherwise people might not see that type of stuff. Oh, the lead weights? That counts as marine debris. Go for it. Make sure you wash your hands, everybody, once we get all get back to the building. Bring that right in the two big buckets. Go for it. Yeah. We found so much stuff. See, that's so fun. That's definitely I'm, I'm actually, I'm reusing them for the feathers. See the feathers? These have a in nature. There's glass in there. Can you put a pick? 